Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to do a little video on counting the occurrence of a certain string. <clears throat> so we're going to tie in the videos that we have done this week. Now this is this is a very simple way to do it. There's a more advanced way. I just want us to get keep focusing on the basics right now and then we will get more into the advanced um, later but let's do this now so we're gonna use everything we've done this week so we are going to have a we're gonna put this on yeah we'll do this okay let me copy this because I know how many are here Then uh, count zero because this is our that's how many we're starting with, and we are going to count the occurrences of dad. So one, two, three, four. So, all right, let's just jump into it. We're going to need to do a for loop because we want to just go through this so for I in now you might say why don't we just do dad well okay well what are we gonna do if we just do dad that's gonna be a letter so why don't we use something that we've done this week we're going to use our range function and then len because the root, you might say, well, why len? Well, because we're going to slice this thing up into pieces. So every three, three letters. So basically, we're going to test that. Then we're going to test that. Then we're going to test that. Then we're going to test, oops, that. This is a very simple way to do it. And the reason why we use range is because this will be a number where if we used just dad it was going to be just a letter so let's just do that print I let's run this just a letter we can't really do much when it's a letter but if we do oops if we do this as range then this turns into a number and what are the tools that we know we know we can slice this and we know slicing uses indexing and indexing uses numbers so if dad now again if you haven't watched the video on slicing go and watch that so all right the first instance we're going to test this we always start at zero and this is going to start at zero because we haven't specified anywhere else. So we're going to slice. Then zero, one, two. So I plus, so we said two, right? So why don't we print this out before we get fancy and check if we have this right. Dad, I i plus two what do we think will come out oh, forgot a nope this isn't long enough because this is exclusive so this needs to be three so let's see there we go so there's our first test so dad 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 and that's it so so we got this to come out. So let's get rid of this. So if this right equals DAD. Now what do we want to do? We have our counting. So we're gonna just increment. Let me get that out of the way so you can see it. 
one. That's going to print every time. Here we go. Print count. Boom. Four. So that is a quick little tool to increment through a string using len, the range function, and a condition statement to count the occurrence. So don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Please leave any comments below. Uh, I really appreciate those. I get, uh, I've get gotten a couple video ideas out of that. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys are getting something out of this, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.